Zero FXB, let's unbox the ThinkNode M1 Meshtastic device, off-grid LoRa transceiver receiver. Uh, I think it's 868 megahertz. We've downloaded the Meshtastic app. Now we can use our PC to upgrade the firmware, but in this video, we're just gonna take it out of the box. There is a user manual and a covering here for the box. This one's got this new paper style screen. So it's already turned on there. Um, so let's just get it out. It comes in this little clear plastic box. And like so. Okay, it's like a, I like it because it's almost like a walkie talkie style. You can't talk and then the on off, you've turned it off completely, look, like so. And it does come with a cable, USB-C, and this, this antenna, which I've seen reviews for this device and they're saying it's a good antenna. Apparently it's a special type of SMA, so just don't put your Bofeng one on there for now. I think it's, it's got a special type in there. All right, so just be aware of that. You can buy uh, another one for this. Take the cover off there. And then the screen, when you turn it on, it will hold its screen even when it's off. Let's give that a minute. It's got a built-in speaker, built-in GPS. Try not to get it too bright for this camera. It will actually go black and white, you know, in not in not in a very clear black and white way. Here you've got GPS on and off, and then we've got a I don't know a selection, a couple of selections buttons there. Uh, it's it's booted straight into the Meshtastic software. We've got some LED lights here letting us know what's going on. Nothing on this side. Uh, USB-C charging here. And um, looks like you've got a mounting thing there. Some mounts there. Can you press the button? No. So let's just um, turn on, open up our app. I'll tap the scan. Try not to knock this phone over. It's just balanced at the moment. Should scan. The Bluetooth is on on my phone. So let's see if it picks it up. It did actually very quickly. It says 479D. Uh, we're going to put in one, two, three, four. Actually, no, it's given us a pin here, so we're going to put that in. Nine, seven, two, five, oh, eight. And then we'll hit pair. Is that paired? Yes, it is. Uh, we can disconnect. It's given us a firmware version there. I wonder if we can actually do firmware online these days. Do that so you can see that. It's quite bright, isn't it? Now, I don't think I've used this for ages, but it says here, select your region. We're not going to turn on MQTT. Well, it says ignore. Well, I'll leave it as it is for now. Select the region. And then we're 868 here. Save. Let it do its thing. says rebooting okay EU 868 Meshtastic I'm going with what it's doing at the moment I'm wondering why we've got this no satellites at the moment but it is trying so I'm just going to flick through long fast there's the details of our device. Maps there. Settings. And then you've got the usual configuration, which I haven't used for ages. Channels there. LoRa. Go back. Let's just go LoRa. Let's turn let's let it do MQTT just just for a bit. I'm gonna turn this off. Go into channels. And then hit this thing here as well. Paired devices. And we can use Wi Fi and serial. Let's touch tick. Scan for a new device. Back here. So I think for an unboxing, that will do for now. Let me uh, tomorrow do a video on updating the firmware and then seeing if we can actually. Look at some channels, get some local activity, stand outside for one, get a GPS lock, get some LoRa 
you know, it receive, remember this is off grid. So although it's communicating, um, there's no internet unless you, you know, when we turned on that, where was it at the beginning? Settings, Laura. When we put in MQTT, yeah, you're basically connecting, as far as I know, connected to the internet. And uh, let's go back to channels here, and then we'll end the video. And you can send and receive messages and position. Bye for now. Just an unboxing of the ThinkNode M1.